Over the last two decades, as part of its Earthen Architecture Initiative, the Getty Conservation Institute has worked around the world to preserve historic earthen sites. One of those sites is Kasba Taurirt. Kasba Taurirt is one of thousands of fortified earthen complexes and villages, known as Kasbas and Ksur, found in southern Morocco. Unfortunately, these important and fragile sites are threatened by abandonment and are being lost. The Kasba is located in the city of Warzazad, which historically was at the intersection of Trans-Saharan trade routes. The earliest parts of the Kasba date from the 17th century. Most of the complex was constructed in the late 19th century by Si Hamadi El Glawi, ruler of Taurid and part of the powerful Glawi family who controlled all of southern Morocco. Si Hamadi expanded the Kasba from a small group of buildings into a large defensive palace. It included stables, servants' quarters, workshops, a market, wells and baths, and residences for his wives and children. His private apartment was richly decorated Wrought iron windows and intricate traditional designs adorn the exterior. Although the Kasbah was designated a Moroccan national landmark in 1954, it suffered gradual deterioration over the years and was mostly abandoned until the 1990s. Currently, it is under the protection of Circus. C'est une institution publique sous la tutelle du ministère de l'Intérieur de, de la Culture qui a été créé euh, en 1989. Euh, donc cette institution a pour mission la conservation, la restauration, la réhabilitation du patrimoine architectural soit en terre soit en pierre euh, qui se trouve dans les régions de l'Atlas et dans les vallées pré-sahariennes du Maroc. In 2011, the Getty Conservation Institute and Circus partnered to develop a methodology for preserving Kasbah Tawrirt. The main objective of the partnership is, in collaboration with Circus, as local government organization, to design a comprehensive methodology for the rehabilitation of the Kasbah Tawrirt that could serve as a model for similar sites around southern Morocco. In the past five years, we have developed a plan and trained circus personnel on each of the plan activities. That way, we assure they properly develop rehabilitation plan for other sites around this region. The project produced a conservation and rehabilitation plan for the site that respects the original structures, preserves local building traditions, promotes earth and architecture, and trains local professionals. The first part of the project included the documentation of the entire complex. Working with Carleton University's Immersive Media Studio, the GCI and Circus carried out a comprehensive survey of the various sections of the Kasbah. Archival and oral history research was also conducted to understand the use of the site over time. The team developed models showing this evolution. The second phase encompassed the development of the conservation and rehabilitation plan, followed by conservation treatment. From the 1970s until 2010, Many buildings were heavily altered through the demolition of historic walls and features and by the construction of new elements. Documentation and research helped to identify the original form and design of the buildings. The project team also worked with the community to develop priorities for the Kasbah's reuse and to pinpoint features that should be preserved in the site's rehabilitation. Structures in the Kasbah are now being stabilized and restored using traditional earthen construction and conservation techniques. This work includes reversing inappropriate alterations and re-establishing the traditional layout and form of the buildings. A workshop was established on site to prepare earthen materials Local materials from the Warzazat area are being used and skilled craftsmen are training laborers in traditional building crafts and techniques. 
restoration work is addressing the problems of greatest priority. These include replacing damaged roofs, repairing structural cracks and damaged walls, and eliminating moisture problems and erosion. Wall Paintings Conservators are also working inside the richly decorated Kide residence to preserve and protect important wall paintings. With Carleton University, Conservators documented and assessed each painted surface to identify areas of deterioration. Treatments are being carried out to stabilize the paintings. The final phase of the project includes publication of the plan and dissemination of information about the site to local authorities, scholars, and the community. During the project, training was provided in documentation, rehabilitation planning, and analysis of earthen materials and conservation of wall paintings. With the publication of the plan and completion of the conservation work, the rehabilitation of Kasba Tahrir can serve as a model for conservation of similar earthen sites in the region.